this they just did it they just played the, the melody that I talked about. Hey music friends, this is David Vask. I'm a music composer for games and you know, one of the things that impressed me the most about Tears of the Kingdom so far is the very, very strong opening. You know, when you're walking around that cave with Zelda, there's some very, very good music there. It's spooky, there's a lot of tension. So today we're gonna break down that intro. We're gonna try to explain some of the cool things that they're doing with the music there. So let's go. Okay, here we are. There's already some very sneaky stuff going on, on this very subtle music. Can you hear these? They sound like voices? This is what I call in this game, I'm gonna call this Zonai Choirs. This is all over this game. It's something that they use whenever there's Zonai involved. They use these samples of voices of choirs but they are inverted that that's why they sound kind of weird kind of alien and disturbing these are voices but they, they are reversed and the interesting thing about the notes that they're using here is that at the surface this sounds like you know just mysterious music there's a lot of silence in between the notes it's very minimalistic but if you look closely you know these little zonai choir notes they are just sprinkling a few Spli sprinkling a little of these few notes that would lead you to believe that this is maybe what we call here in the channel a sad chord you know pretty standard for for mysterious music a sad chord but the thing that changes it all listen the the bell are you hearing the bell did you hear the bell is doing this note and this note this single note makes uh, the the chord that the zone I uh, choirs are singing makes it a very disturbing chord because it clashes with this one note here this is a very very disturbing interval and the the bell it's very convenient because the bell of course that there's this connotation of announcing something ominous announcing death the bell announces very very stealthily very very secretively it announces something disturbing Look how loud it's getting. Wow, it, it's interesting because all this time they have been holding one single chord. They're not moving around the chords. Look how loud it's getting. So they're creating a lot of anticipation because they're, they're just holding this. All the time holding this. It's getting louder and louder. So they are... Uh, increasing intensity and building tension through volume they're raising the volume and at the same time the fact that they are not changing chords creates anticipation because you're just on a flat line of a chord that that just doesn't move you're you keep asking yourself or uh, unconsciously your brain is asking itself where where is this going next where is this going next and it never goes anywhere that creates anxiety and anticipation and at the same time like i said they they're raising the volume And they're... Did you hear that? They're introducing some lower notes to the Zonai choirs. Did you hear? Some lower no notes. Lower notes is, is always, again, bad news in, in situations like this. I think this is about the part where... Where we, we're gonna see the panel on the wall. Oh, there's some combat here. Let's see if the music changes during, during combat. Oh wow, they have introduced, let me see if I, if I can do this while, I've, while I run away from these bats. Yeah, they've introduced this, a sustained bass, it, it, it sounds like cellos and, and basses. Again, the, what was once just a mystery, 
is starting to become more real, more concrete. Wow, there's some... Wow, I can't rewind this because I'm, I'm actually playing right now, but there, there were some... They're introducing some more disturbing notes very subtly here while Zelda is looking at the, at the panel. So stuff like this, this is the melody that he's playing now. This kind of interval here, again, he's starting to emphasize this and it's another very, it suggests a very disturbing card. This is what's cool about his doing, he's being very, very subtle. This interval, like I said, suggests this kind of chord, which is very, very disturbing, is yet another disturbing chord on top of the other one with the bell that I talked about before, but it's not like he's straight up playing this, like this. That would be too obvious, there would be no mystery, there would be no suspense, no tension. He's hinting at it, he is suggesting it. When you hear stuff like this, even if you know nothing about music, your brain picks up on it, your, your brain knows that he's suggesting this, which sounds very ugly and disturbing. And more voices. Oh, and bass. Oh. So far, it's still holding the same chord, a lot of suspense. Oh, percussion! Did you hear? Oh, right when she mentioned... Did you hear? Right when she mentioned the, the evil figure, which we know is Ganondorf. Here, it's building up. There's something building, building up in the background. It's very subtle. I'm gonna stop here because I want to call you, your attention to something. There's something very, very subtle. I think it's gonna get louder, but there's for now, there's something very subtle building up on the background of the music that, that's playing here, and it's something very significant. It's this melody here. Do you recognize this? This is something that, if you've seen the trailers, you have definitely heard this, because this is the kind of melody that they seem to be using to express, to signify Ganondorf in this game. Either Ganondorf itself or Ganondorf's malice, because every time Ganondorf shows up this place and it's starting to, to build up, up on the background of this and it's starting to grow, take a listen to this, try to pay attention, see if you can identify this. And this Ganondorf melody, is it's almost like it's trying to take over the song. The previous song that, that was basically just a kind of a disturbing mystery is being taken over by, by something more definite now. Sugoi. It's very subtle on the piano, on the right speaker. Very high pitched piano. And stopped. This is another very, very unsettling tool for tense moments, suspenseful moments. You build up, you build up a lot of tension, 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 and then you build up into nothing, into silence. Silence is very unsettling when uh, you feel like you are about to find something out, right? When you, when the Ganondorf melody shows itself, it's about to blow up, it's building up, and then it robs that resolution from you. And there's drums now. The drums were introduced. Jesus, look at this, it's getting louder. Oh, and the Ganondorf melody. It's probably not exactly this, it's probably like a, 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 a variation, a version of it. On the right speaker. Wow, it's really starting to build up now. And the drums, like I said, are back. Oh 
god, it feels like it's going to explode. And then, of course, we, re we reach Ganondorf. The bell, did you hear? Only the bell remains. This, they just did it. They just played the, the melody that I talked about uh, on the piano. But I think they played in, in another key, I think. It's gonna explode. This is... This is all that anticipation, all that build-up being released now. Oh god, I just figured out something. I watched when I watched this intro for the first time, I had a feeling that this little piano you, you, did you hear the little piano notes that they played as Link was reaching to grab to, to catch Zelda? It's it's this. It's the main theme of the game. Remember? God, I was having such a hard time figuring this out. That, that's really cool because it's a very touching image of Link and Zelda together. But they, they play it very, very slowly, very dramatic. If you're a Zelda music nerd like I am, I have a video here where I ranked all the Zelda soundtracks, like all of them. It's a kind of an old video, but it's actually one of my favorites. I'm gonna make a ton of Tears of the Kingdom videos in the next weeks, so make sure to stick around if you're into that. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I will see you there.